Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. In this video, I will be talking about two things that is going to be part of your IT life. And usually, these two things are a part of your life anyways. I'm talking about stress and failure in IT. Now, this is going to be uh, a part of your life, either if you're learning, either if you're working as a new IT professional, or even if you're working as an expert, basically you're going to deal with this stuff now i'm just going to talk about uh people who are uh you know getting into it and people who are learning right now or people who have just landed this job i just want to give them uh you know my experience and the people that i train or people that are around me so based on this i'm able to give this information but i'm sure other people can also help you in the comment section now, when you're learning about IT, there's going to be this learning stress. There's going to be these things that you don't know. There's this gray area of how these networks are built. There's so much. People are talking to you about doing certifications. People are talking to you about going to degree program or people are like us telling you to come to our platform and let's, let, you, let us teach you. So there's going to be a lot of confusion and that's where, of course, that, that stress is going to be natural and this is something that you have to use your common sense you have to use your research and whatever makes more sense to you then that is where you can minimize that stress this stress will not go away even if you land a job when you land a job the next stress is that you know you now have to learn about the systems that companies are using companies are not going to just open up their systems to people and just say hey this is what we are using most of our trainings, most of the people that train you, uh, you know, in boot camps and things like that, go by something like average. These are the systems that many companies use, so let's just train you on this. So if a company is using something different, then they will understand that at least you have some kind of knowledge. So again, that stress is going to be there when you start, uh, you know, working in a company, and that natural stress will kick in because you are doing a job which is very reactive in the beginning, you know, because you're so new. Uh, a lot of proactive things will not come to you even if you learn it that way things are going to just be more reactive how you how you respond to calls how you respond to issues how you think quickly when a when a person is looking at you or they're sitting somewhere that stress is going to be there the way you can deal with this is not going to be an easy task so the first thing is to mentally prepare yourself and mentally accept this reality that uh, you know that natural stress is a part of this career whether you are new whether you are an expert this is going to be like that if anyone tells you that there's no stress in IT then just close that you know whatever you're doing close it out and just move away because that that's not true and that's <laughs> this will never happen you will always have stress uh, when you work with uh, 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 computers and everything but then how do we deal with this? I mean, we've been in this career for so long. I mean, of course, we would have been like, you know, we would have left this career if it was so stressful. The stress is not actually a bad thing because sometimes you learn from these things. You have to adapt with it. You know, if you like technology, if you're passionate about fixing things, then that stress that you're actually getting that, oh, there's an issue, you actually convert that into a positive kind of energy. Like, okay, I really want to fix that now. So the stress doesn't become a worry later on. I mean, if you ask me, been in IT for so long, if you ask me, is there something that, I mean, is there gonna be something that's not gonna stress you? Every time I come to work, I feel like there's something gonna be new and I'm stressed about it. But then when, when I see things and I, based on experience, that stress becomes more positive in a way that now I really wanna solve it because that's what I'm really passionate about. This is what makes me an IT professional because I know, I don't know what's gonna happen next. I don't know these things. I mean, what what if somebody implements something brand new? I have no clue about it. And now I have to learn that stress is there. But of course, I am more passionate. I am kind of excited to, okay, what is out there? What's something new that I can add to my skill set? So that's going to be always there. So my suggestion for the people who are brand new, who are learning, this is what I've been doing for the past five years. I tell people that learn smartly. Do not go for the manual stuff in IT. Do not learn the IT the manual way because we've been doing this for a long, long time. And I, and I, this, this is nothing against people who are telling you to go and open up your labs and do everything yourself and everything like that. That's actually a good thing and that's been working. But that's kind of like a manual approach where we're telling people that, look, you, you have ability, find a mentor, find a program that actually 
can tell you about things, can make your learning progress a little bit easier and faster. Because what matters is what you needed to get into that job and then of course that is where you're learning a lot of things on your own from the people you work with, from the company's uh, resources. This is where you really cash on and move on very quickly. Do not get stuck in the learning cycle forever where you have to build your own labs and you have to perfect everything. Uh, you gotta make sure that you have domain controllers running, making sure that the you know, replications are going on and everything like that. Don't go into that detail because that's where most of us struggle. That's where most of us you know, wasted our time. That's where most of us got stressed out. So we are now here in this position that we're telling people that look, make it smartly, uh, do things smartly, uh, get get the things that is only required for your job. So if you're if you're uh, going for the entry level job like help desk, then only focus on on the things that jobs are gonna you know uh, that makes your job easy. Basically, you don't want to be become an expert by learning things. You will not become an expert by just learning everything on your own. That's not gonna happen. As soon as you go to the company and you find out, oh, they're using some Macs, they're using some id system that i have no clue nobody have taught me this stuff nobody can teach you this stuff so that is kind of like where i would like you to focus on now the last thing that i want to mention is the failure failure is a part of everything i mean if you do not fail you're just not going to learn things with in it the way it works is that if you're brand new and the way we train people we tell people that we're training you and expect the first let's say 10 15 in interviews seriously you're gonna go there for failure I see some people get a little bit disappointed oh I got denied and stuff like that you see that's what we were talking about you have to be very confident you have to take that failure you have to turn it into positive energy you have to go back there very strongly Now that doesn't mean you're gonna get you you're gonna keep failing the interviews and not coming back and fixing things because I see a lot of people when we train with them we give them all the information and then we ask them that hey did you do this they say yeah we did it but when when they do their training or they do their labs or they do their uh, you know mock interview with us they're saying things that has nothing that's very like off like I can sense it that okay you didn't really watch the whole video right you didn't actually t took the notes you didn't get the whole concept of Active Directory that is why you're having so much struggle in your labs and that's reality and we pe we tell people that look we're not gonna come and support you because then it, this whole thing is gonna become like a me supporting you another person supporting you like a normal user no we're we're making you an IT professional and that's not part of our service at all we will not support anybody uh, with you know just fixing their problems we will tell them where's your problem why is it why is it happening is it happening because you don't understand what is the infrastructure because we have taught you that stuff let's go back to day one you didn't really finish that so there there's gonna be failure but failure is based on your own mistakes right so you gotta fix those things so every time you go to the interview and you fail something go back and see where did you mumble where did you struggle where did you felt like I, I give the weak answer then try to find solution for it now the way our members work is that when we train them we tell them people okay tell me about yourself or, or or you know if you were in this situation what would you say you see that tell me about yourself and all these type of questions can only be answered when you have some type of background in IT or some kind of experience or something right so the normal approach is that a lot of people will tell you and that's where a lot of people get stuck nothing against them that's that's the only answer that they can give you because they rely on you have you done your labs they will tell you go and do your labs and say that in the tell me about yourself but in our platform we're giving you a solution so then you can actually talk about it you see these are the two two different things we're talking about something something very generic and now we're talking about something very specific that kind of like is the answer basically you know people who have experience can talk about tell me about yourself people who don't have experience can really not talk about that kind of with that kind of confidence that's where people get confused like oh what should I what should I say you know so again the point of this video is that you have to be smart you know when it comes to learning technology you can do it manually like I told people many many times with nothing on with no training you can do everything by yourself if you have the ability you have the, the you have the ability to take that kind of stress of learning you have the ability to search around different type of people and make your own thing then you know yeah you that's good because you don't need us you don't need the solution 
but for people who are normal who just really want to get things quickly quickly who want to lo- who believes in sharing and uh, getting knowledge from other people that's why you're watching us that's why you're watching different channels because you see that there's some gain for you there's there you feel like there's something uh, you know that you're finding out new that you're looking for that's the reason then you want to be more smart and then get into programs i'm not trying to sell our program to you i really want you guys to use your common sense try to find exactly the same programs that we offer if you find it if you find it for cheap cheaper than us then go for that we're not saying that we're the only people that are doing this right but we're saying that we are the solution for things like that that makes your stress level go down that gives you more skills in a short time that kind of gives you resources labs uh you know courses that makes you do things that makes you you're able to do things then I hope you understand this video. I know a lot of people ask me, I'm too stressed in the beginning. Um, you know, I feel like I'm going to fail this and stuff like that. To be honest, don't worry about this kind of stuff. This is a part of our life. We have to deal with it. In the beginning, it's going to be like that. It's just natural. As soon as you move that six months and one year phase of that, trust me, you're going to be like fish. You're going to be like going in, in the water like that. I don't know why did I use that example. But yeah, you're going re- to be like really cool. You know, you're going to be doing everything on your own. Thank you.